For years now, the Sun have been advertising £9.50 holidays all over the UK and even in Europe. For the cost of 10 papers and a few pounds a night, they claim you'll have a holiday to remember that won't break the bank. But seeing as it's the Sun, they aren't exactly known for being a truthful newspaper. Me and Glenn thought it'd be a great idea to book one ourselves and have a little look inside. Does that smell like someone's died in here recently? Okay, Glenn, here we go. On the way to Pontins, I've just seen a few photos of the place online and it is bad and the reviews are awful as well. We are only paying £9.50, we can't really complain that much. Safety first. Sorry. It's going to be, uh, I think an eye opener is probably the best thing I can come up with because the reviews are the funniest thing to look through. <laughs> the Pontins we stayed at was in Breen Sands and was so well known for its lack of hygiene and safety. ITV News did a full investigation on the resort in 2019, just three months after the roof collapsed, injuring a total of 18 people. Boasting an incredible 2 out of 5 average on TripAdvisor and with over 2,800 one star reviews, it was safe to say we were apprehensive. We have an hour and 56 to get there. As you can see, we are on the road uh, currently at a red light though, but we're on our way and uh, Glenn is going to drive us there. So far. Yeah. First stop, what food should we get? I feel like uh, I need to fill my stomach as much as possible. Oh, nicest food we'll have in the next 48 hours. All right, so we have arrived at Pontins. <laughs> you excited? Over here we have the pool. Got a little map of the whole site, Got the main venue, and then all the accommodation. It does look a bit like my classroom. You know, one of those temporary classrooms you used to have <laughs> the at school. The temporary ones that ended up lasting <laughs> yeah, about a year. <laughs> cell block 33. Is it actually called cell block? <laughs> no. Oh. I didn't promise you a five star banquet in Dubai, did I? I promised you. <laughs> In Green Sands Pontins, lad. I really can't complain. It only costs about £9.50 a night. I'm not gonna die. There is so many arcade games and that could keep me entertained for a whole day. This is our entertainment guide. And as you can see, my camera is not pixelated. It is actually the paper. <laughs> Do I read that? I can barely- Mate, a quarter past eight, we've got a blue coat show. What's that? It's where like the entertainers sing, song and dance and all that shit. Welcome to your new home, Ben. Is this it? <laughs> Electricity is included with your booking. Thanks guys. <laughs> my guy was gonna can get out a coal fire and keep us warm. 514 at Pontins. After you. This is meant for four people. This is meant for four people. It smells a bit funny. Just a tad, doesn't it? It does smell a bit funny. Oh my god. <laughs> it's £9.50. It's £9.50. No, no, we no, can't no, complain. It's, it's, it's not that bad. Look at that. <laughs> it's just a smell for me. It's a smell on the curtains. Where's the, where's the light switch? <laughs> you gotta activate the electricity first, then. Where's this light switch? Is this not one? No, there, there must be a light switch no, somewhere. No, no, no. Oh, wait. You gotta give it a bit of a. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And we have light. Ow! I don't think. What is that? That <laughs> that's <laughs> someone, someone's had a bigger version of that. Let's have a look in here. What's in here? Oh, the bathroom's not that bad. Let me just and then wipe my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so do you reckon this folds out into a sofa bed? It must. Do. It must do. Oh! oh. Wow! Wow! Wow. wow. Oh, they've got shot glasses though. Oh, they've got shot glasses. Nice. Well, this is new. Look, it's still got the stuff at the bottom and it's got the stickers on. Wow, new fridges. That's the least satisfying. First things first, we're going to read the reviews. Pontins Breen Sands Holiday Park 2.6 stars on Google with 2,900 reviews. If I could give this a zero star, then I would. The accommodation is disgusting. Mold all over the curtains and windows. Worst place in the UK. Bedroom is awful and beds are all broken. Cleaners are non-existent. Nothing is open. Everything is completely broken. And then the owner responded, thanks for your review. For four nights, yep. it cost in total with all fees, all of that. Obviously not including bed linen itself. Five pound eighty-seven pence per person per night if there were four people staying here. But like this place isn't really for four people. Not at all, man. It's a fucking bargain because you get the electricity included. So we are now going to go get some food. I think we're then going to get a drink afterwards, 
and uh, do some gambling because there's a lot of arcade machines. Actually, we could go to the beach. Wow, look at that. Of a dinosaur, mate. That's how old this place is. 48 hour party, 2020. Adults only, 80s, noughties. Shops closed. Pardon? Shops closed. Is it? So how am I gonna buy bed linen? I don't understand how you're supposed to come to a holiday park and they don't even give you bed linen. So if any of you guys ever find yourself on public Wi-Fi or if you're in a different country and certain websites are blocked, then you need something called Surfshark. Basically, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that lets you place your phone or laptop anywhere in the world and access the internet as if you were in that place. You might be wondering why you'd actually want to do this. The first thing is that there is a ton of different shows on different countries' Netflix. If you just change your location to America, or Canada, you can watch so many different shows. You can actually get a lot more for your Netflix subscription than what you actually pay for. Also, Surfshark lets you access or unblock websites and content you might not usually be able to see. I have been to different countries where certain websites have been blocked. It also adds an extra layer of security to keep all your videos, photos, passwords, and everything else safe when you're on the internet. A VPN is basically your internet safety blanket. It will keep you safe. Surfshark is the only VPN to let you use unlimited devices on only one account. Make sure you check out Surfshark down below. Use my code BEN. And Morris for 83% off plus an extra three months for free and to top it off they have a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you don't like it you can get your money back okay so if you've watched the channel you will know that I am a very big lover of fish and chips and there is actually an on-site fish and chips place which I feel like I need to try out wow we can sit inside now how times have changed uh, no, you can't. can I not no because there's nowhere to sit oh there's no indoor seating and it's closed just in front of me we have the pub we have the Queen Vic I feel like they got that name from somewhere is it from EastEnders? Yeah. Turns out the Queen Vic has also stopped serving drinks and their restaurant is closed as well. Luckily there is more food places on the other side of the street. As you can see, there is a little lounge up there and also a fish and chip shop. I think we've got to go over there, haven't we? Fish and chips on the beach? Yeah, let's do it. We have just arrived at the beach. And let's be honest, that is a beautiful view. Look at the sunset. We've got ourselves some fish and chips. We've got a Frisbee. We've got some drinks. Glenn is currently eating his fish and chips up there. So I'm going to play Frisbee by myself. I think you're able to with this one. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, wait for the, for the seagull. You ready? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just landed off Frisbee on top of that house right there for fuck's sake. Back in paradise, we went to the arcade where Ben decided to give me my monthly wages early. Wow, big ballers. Here you go, Glad. Here's your play money. Don't spend all at once, wow, okay? Wow, I feel so honored. Take it slow. Don't be silly. This is actually coronavirus. I must get a baby Yoda. Glenn is trying to get a baby Yoda. Go on. Oh, it's just gonna Go drop out of oh. Can he get him? Oh! Oh, oh there's bigger toys. Bigger fish in the sea. Go on. Go, go on, on, on. Get these two fat, mate. Fuck's sake, man. Sonic All Stars basketball, one pound to play. <laughs> Takes a big old swig of his old moot. Oh. Don't distract me. Oh. Jumping needs to come off. Yeah. 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 Come on, Glenn, you gotta beat me. Let's go. There we go. Oh, there you go, Glenn. 119. Well done. Should we go back to our humble abode? This is what we want tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bingo. And we are back in the crib. Woo! What? <laughs> the, the... <laughs> it still smells really funny in here. I don't really know how to describe the smell. It's just that, it's that smell like someone's died in here recently. Didn't someone die at Pontins recently? This is where I'm going to be sleeping for the night. Look, Glenn has made his bed actually look presentable because he did the sensible thing and brought bed linen. He's got his tinny. What is this? Cronenberg. Mate. Cronenberg. There you go. Cheers. Damn it. No. Good night, pal. Bye. Enjoy your sleep. And you. So as you can tell, I am indeed sleeping with no duvet and just my clothes on. That is because I didn't bring my own bed linen. I didn't know I had to. And the shop where they say that you can buy bed linen was actually closed. It shouldn't be too bad of a sleep. I can pretty much sleep anywhere. You know. <sighs> I'm just about to have a shower and I found a little friend. I'm going to name him Sally. Sally the spider is going to join me for a shower. I think I just have to turn it. There we go. Easy as chips. Obviously, as well, there are no towels here, so we just had to pay £5 for a towel from the shop. Definitely our own fault for not bringing any towels. I'm going to get showered because I feel disgusting from sleeping in my clothes. So me and Glenn are trying to go go-karting. However, 
It doesn't really look open. I haven't seen anyone on it all day. They also have crazy golf. However, it also does not look like it is an operation, which is a shame. Oh wait, all sports equipment available from the leisure zone. It just looks so deserted. You know what I feel like? I feel like I'm back in Chernobyl. Oh yeah, you went to Chernobyl. Yeah, we need to go to so Chernobyl. We should, mate. That'd be a good we video. We really should. We have found the leisure zone. Let's see if we can get some equipment. I don't think anyone's actually in there. Something tells me the leisure zone's closed, mate. <laughs> it's not all doom and gloom. We have managed to find a gym. Come on, Glenn. No, no, Give no, us five. No, no, Give us five. No, 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 no. Hello, buddies. Hours of fun destroyed in minutes. Cheers, mate. Thanks for taking me on this lovely holiday. It's all good, Glenn. Cheers. 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 Me and Glenn have ordered some food. We've got an eight-inch Yorkshire pudding. We've got some corn sausages. Glenn has got some standard sausages. Look at that, mate. That is the definition of a beautiful microwave meal. Oh. It's not bad. Could be worse, couldn't it? Hmm. Let's see what this eight-inch does for us. I didn't think that they could make bad Yorkshire puddings. It's really not good. The sausages, mash, veg are great. Yorkshire pudding is absolutely... Cardboard. Three, two, one. Me and Glenn are about to play some bingo. You excited, mate? 20 quid this cost us. It's the same as one night in the little chalet. How are we all feeling? Are we feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling great. Good idea. Four, four, four for the drinks or bingo? Oh, okay. We've already been served. My guys sat here with a pint and we get ID to play bingo. Are we all in a fabulous time? No. Yeah. In that case, my name is Blue Coat Leo. If you've not had a fabulous time, my name is Blue Coat Josh, the Nile Chip Advisor. There's going to be a Blue Coat Josh one day and he's going to Funny he mentions that. <laughs> now armed with more names to slate on my TripAdvisor review, they announced the biggest prize of the night. A free holiday at a Britannia or Pumpkins holiday park. How fab does that sound? Not one person responded to that at all. Too loud. Too loud. Oh, great. Someone's won the holiday. With bingo done, we celebrated never having to come back to Pontins Green Sands again. But before we left, there was one last thing we needed to check out. Let's go. Do not take your keys home. I promise I will not. There you go, thank you very much. That was mine and Glenn's 24 hour experience at the Sun's £9.50 holiday at Pontins. Now for the all important, Glenn out of 10. <laughs> what are you giving? Uh, three. A three? A three. Nothing worked. Bingo cost more than the stay did, pretty much. Yeah, none of the activities were open. No, nothing was open. I, I don't know why. I think I'll give it a four out of Ben. Four out of Ben. A four out of Ben. We're starting the out of Ben as well. I like that, I like that. Anyways, I've had a fun time. I think you get your money's worth. You are only paying £9.50-ish. There is a service fee and you have to pay for food and your bed linen and a lot of other things. And but, your towel. And your towel. And your electricity, unless you get that included like we did. Yeah. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe, and of course, comment some video ideas because I'm running out and I'm going to have to quit YouTube otherwise. I shall see you guys next Monday with another video because I'm going somewhere very cool and I'm filming it, obviously. Anyways, I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Goodbye.